Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. A very very tasty combo for dinner, grandmother style. For making arsi upma, take 1 cup of raw rice and 1 tablespoon of tuwar dal. We will wash it together and bring it. Drain out the water and just spread it on a clean cloth to dry. Leave it aside to dry for about half an hour. You can just keep it inside your house under the fan. That is enough. See, our rice has dried now. We will take it into a uh, dry grinder jar. To this add 1 teaspoon of whole black pepper. And about 2 teaspoons of jeera or cumin seeds. Now we will uh, grind it in the pulse mode so that we get a coarse rava or semolina consistency. We do not want a fine powder. I will grind it in two batches. See, it is ground and ready to a rava that is semolina consistency. Heat oil in a pressure cooker. We prefer to use thill oil or sesame oil. Add some mustard seeds, little bit of urad dal, king. I am adding 4 dry red chillies, a few curry leaves, next add in 3 cups of water, we have taken 1 cup of rice, so 3 cups of water, about 1 fourth cup of fresh grated coconut and allow everything to come to a boil. When it starts boiling, add some salt, reduce the flame. Now add in this ground rice rava along with the dal, salt, pepper, jeera, everything. Mix it well and allow it to come to a boil once again. Now cover it. We will cook it for one whistle and switch it off. As a side dish for this uh, arsi upma, we can have with sambar, chutney, gutsu is also very good, even with some pickle. But today I will make uh, puli inji, which is also an excellent combination. Here I have soaked a lemon sized piece of tamarind to extract the juice. Now heat some oil in a pan, add some mustard seeds, some hing or asafoetida. 2 green chillies I have taken and also half a cup of ginger I have peeled and chopped. Now fry the chilli and ginger well till the ginger pieces change color. It has to be fried well. You can do it over a low to medium flame. See the ginger has become a darker color. It is well fried. Now I am adding a pinch of turmeric powder little bit of Kashmiri chilli powder and salt. Stir fry it. Next I am adding in this tamarind extract. Now over a low flame allow everything to boil together till it thickens nicely. See the puli inji is boiling well, it has thickened also. Finally, just add 1 or 2 teaspoons of jaggery powder as per your taste, less or more depending on your taste. And just cook it for another 2 minutes more. See always I love to enjoy the sight, smells and sounds of cooking. You feel as if raindrops are falling on your windowsill. See, it is thickening now. At this stage, I will switch it off because on cooling, it will thicken even further. Now, we can open the cooker to see our arsi upma. Steaming hot arsi upma. Perfectly done. Just 
give it a good mix with a light hand now let's serve out our lovely steaming hot arsi upma with some puli inji at the side a few tips when you grind the rice into a rava consistency you can grind the pepper and jeera separately coarsely if you don't like this much of uh, pepper flavor in your upma but we don't mind it that's why i have added it like this and also earlier on uh, traditionally this arsi upma used to be made in a bengala pane that is a bronze vessel and it would uh, cook for a longer time and uh, with time what happens the bottom most layer would get a lovely crunch to it like a crispy dosa and uh, everybody would want to have their share of that and the bengala pane which i have is uh, very large it will be too huge to use just for the two of us we have cooked it in a shorter duration so that uh, people who have busy lives can easily make this at home very very healthy traditional tasty south indian recipe and this puli inji also can be preserved for 3 to 4 days and you can have it with many other dishes to even with curd rice it's a good combo thank you for watching the video do definitely try out this recipe please subscribe to geeta's kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting episode from geeta's kitchen thank you